It's never easy to get to the front line where people might be shooting, where fires might be burning, or where people might be crying. But when you do find them, it means that you're doing your job correctly. My first monetary reward that I got from photojournalism was uh, in the Middle East, in the Arab Spring. The borders were shut, so there was nobody that was able to get in or to get out, including journalists and other photographers. So, for lack of a better word, I was lucky to find myself in a conflict situation. I was mentored by a photographer, Phil Weymouth. He said to me, like, you're going to see some things that you shouldn't see at such a young age. You need to remember that you are not a victim in this situation. I think I was about 26 in a war zone. It was traumatic. The reason why I do this, I think, is because I really got emotionally attached to telling people stories that other people need to listen to. How I deal with it? <laughs> Sometimes I force myself to cry. I'll just sit in my car and put on some dramatic music and I cry a lot. <laughs>